doodle. What you doing, little doodle dog? Hey, it's Stacy from Yellow Rose Homestead, and today I'm going to be opening a box from Stark Brothers Orchards and Nursery, and this is, we are not getting any kind of compensation from them or paid advertising. This is strictly something I ordered and can't wait to plant. Of course, I know it's plants because live plants. <laughs> All right, I've already cut the tape so we can get started. Lots of plastic. Okay. Wow. That doesn't look like 25 strawberries, but... There are my strawberries. And they are bare root, so I need to get them planted. That doesn't look like 25, does it? Oh, and this, <laughs> the Fruit Gardener's Bible. And it is a total index from planting to pruning, nut trees, fruit trees. Oh, it tells you how to pit a cherry too. <laughs> I can't wait to look at that. And we have already gone into this because this came in that god-awful plastic packaging. It is a rapid tester for soil pH. Oh. As I break it, you stick this in the dirt and it tells you if the pH is correct for your soil. Does it go this way? I think it goes this way. Surely it goes that way. And it's got a little scrubby cleaner for this. All right. That's what we've got going on today at Yellow Rose Homestead. Okay, so here are my strawberries, all 25 of them. And they are the All-Star Strawberry Juneberry. June Bearer, excuse me. And I've already undone one of the rubber bands. So I'm gonna take these this off. And these, like I said, are from Stark Brothers. And I'm gonna start pulling them apart. And this is not a paid endorsement or no. advertisement. No. They're hanging on to each other. Oh, and you're a teeny tiny too. You're going in that corner. You're teeny tiny. Wow. There. One, two, three, four, five, twenty-eight. Twenty, I got some bonuses. Or I ripped them apart. <laughs> Oops. The next thing I did was I set my strawberries in some cold water to revitalize their roots. And I'm gonna leave those in for four to six hours. While I'm waiting on those, I'm going to go ahead and get my spots prepped on the uh, in my strawberry bed so I can plant them when, the, when it's time. All right, let's get started. Oh. I'm just going to cut. Well, maybe. I might get, I might cut it. I'm gonna cut an X. Everywhere I want to plant. And in Texas, you really gotta have landscape fabric down, or you will have, you'll be overrun with weeds. Now I'm gonna get the rest of these 25 cut, 
So the next thing we can do is start planting. Okay, I'm all done cutting my X's in the landscape fabric. Okay, now what we're gonna do is plant our strawberries. They have soaked. I actually let them soak overnight. You can soak them up to 24 hours. And as you can see, it's already putting out a new leaf right there. So that's a happy little camper right there. That's a happy little camper. And I learned my lesson from, you see my dirty knees from yesterday? I learned my lesson. <laughs> Landscape fabric actually does let water go through. All right. So I'm gonna get my hole digged. I gotta love this wonderful East Texas clay. And I think I do need to get more out. And I'm thinking I may add some topsoil and blend that. All right, because this is thick Texas soil or clay, <laughs> so much for soil, yeah, I am going to be using a mix of, because you see it just like sticks like glue. I'm going to use a mix of potting soil and garden soil. And now I don't have to fight Texas weeds all summer long. All right. When I get all of them planted, we'll come back and let you see what it looks like. Hi, I'm Beat, but the strawberries are hi, done. Hi, Beat. Hi, Beat. <laughs> hi, my name is Beat. Um, the strawberries are planted. They have been mulched. I am glad that I didn't buy 50. I'm glad I only bought 25. I almost bought 50, and I don't know what I would have done if I had 20 more to go, or 25 more to go. Oh, so. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Share to all your friends.